I'm at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome where Calgary Flames General Manager Brad Tree Living just dealt for Curtis Lazar from the Ottawa Senators, also picking up defenseman Mike Kostika. So you have those two players coming in and then going out is the second round pick in this year's coming draft and as well a defenseman Yuki Yoki Paka gets sent the other way. So not a pretty low risk move when you think of the bigger picture. Just didn't want to really disrupt things with the Calgary Flames. They're on such a roll right now winning five straight after last night's win or Tuesday night's win over the, the LA Kings. So you have kind of a, a pretty a pretty solid group that just needed to be added to. There was only a few maybe tinkering moves that needed to be done with the Curtis Lazar move. It's a long-term project. You look at his numbers, this year hasn't been a great year for him. Um, started the year with mononucleosis and then kind of didn't really get off to a great start, but has three years in the National Hockey League. He's a really up and coming player. He's young, he's 22 years old and really fits in. They think he's going to fit in well with this young core with the Calgary Flames. An interesting fact as well, uh, he played in the NHL Prospects game with Sean Monaghan in the 2013, um, head of the 2013 draft. So that's interesting. Um, we'll see how he fits in. But for the Flames, it was a pretty low risk move today. And uh, that was about it. We didn't really expect anything to happen. Um, they had made a made a, a trade earlier or a couple of weeks ago for Michael Stone from the Arizona Coyotes and added Matt Barkowski for, to their defense as well. So just this, this move, small move today, but also you never know how it could pan out in the long term.